Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you uh, how I'm selling on Printify and Etsy. Printify is new for me. I just got on it uh, two days ago and you may have seen me my some of my posts on Instagram. So I want to go ahead and show you what I've been up to and share with you some of the steps and some of the things that you can, can do on here to make some extra money. So let's get started. Printify, not Printful. I connected Printify to my Etsy shop. And those of you may have seen where I've been uploading uh, what I've been doing or selling or uploading. Um, I've been do, uh, posting those images on uh, in my Instagram. And those of you who don't know uh, my Instagram, it's underscore Gina, G-I-N-A, underscore Gil, G-I-L, underscore. And if you're interested in uh, checking out what I've been, you know, working on, you'll see it there on my Instagram account. And... Uh, of course, you'll see it on my Etsy. You go to Instagram, just click on the uh, link, and the and you'll see all my links connected there. So anyway, I'm going to show you, uh, and this is from my cell phone. I do everything on my cell phone unless I'm recording the screen, um, working on Silhouette. That's the only thing I do is uh, my record my screen for Silhouette or whatever I need to do. And the rest, everything else is done on my cell phone, which is what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you. So again, this is going to be what I'm working on. I connected Printify to my Etsy account, and I'm not going to show you that, but I just want to show you what you can do and, and how you can manipulate or play around with images. You can use Canva.com to, uh, if you're not a, if you're not a designer, you can use it to get ideas or just get inspired. It takes some effort and some playing around. Um, but honestly, anybody can do it. I don't recommend that you hire somebody to do make designs for you. Um, it'll, you know, it'll be, for me, it's a waste of money when you've got Canva and place it. And I'm sure there's other, uh, design, um, apps or websites that you can use for free. Um, so yeah, I totally recommend that you just play around with Canva and place it. They have a lot of generic, um, images that you can, that are, that you can manipulate or play around with. And of course, if they also have a bunch of, uh, templates, editable templates, and they have a lot of, uh, fonts and, and they're, I, I recommend it a hundred percent. And if you want more options, of course, you can pay for, you know, a subscription. It's not that expensive. But I suggest uh, playing around with Canva and uh, place it, maybe even place it. Um, okay, so what I'm going to show you now, um, use what you can come up with, or, or, or I recommend going with what's trending, like um, just what's trending, um, you can also use it for holidays, um, you know, get birthday ideas, quotes, scriptures, what have you. The, the opportunities are endless. I repeat, the opportunities are, opportunities are endless. Design on your own. Again, it takes effort and some playing around, but you'll be surprised. You'll be amazed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've been doing and working on. This this kind of just came up last minute. I don't even remember how I came about uh, doing it. I think I saw, I think I saw the option to connect Printify and Etsy, I'm not sure. And I did do a little research and I find, from my own research, I found that Printify was the best option uh, rather than Printful and um, I forget what other ones are out there. But anyway, I wanted to give this a shot. Um, enough rambling. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So here I'm just going to type, uh, I'm going to type in, uh, printify.com. <clears throat> Again, this is from my cell phone, which is why the screen might look weird. And I don't have anything planned, but I just want to show you, uh, I, I clicked on the top left. And come to the bottom, I'm going to click on my store. And you'll see top right. I can't really point any on anything, but you'll see on the top right, you'll see Etsy. So that means it's connected and I have the option to disconnect, which I'm not. And this is everything that I was working on for the past couple of days. I've only been on it two days. And it's pretty easy. Again, you just do some playing around. 
So you can see the first one is uh, the men's Spectre tank top. And normally when I do it on Etsy, I, um, on my description, not description, on my header, I put so many different words, not repetitive words, but I'll use what I, what I think will show up on a search, uh, when people are doing searches, um, on the website, internet, or even on Etsy. <clears throat> but anyway, you have to keep it, you have to keep, uh, normally I would have added after men's Spectre tank top, I would have put dash, uh, like this first one is know your worth. I created that yesterday. Normally on Etsy, I would put that on there because it would show up as a keyword if somebody would just was to type that up, know your worth, but it does not recommend that you do that. So you can put that in, you can go into Etsy and add whatever you need to, if you want to, that's what's been working for me. But anyway, I'm going to show you, click on the first one because it gives you the option to see in store. So you can just click on it and it takes you to my Etsy store. And then it gives you the different options. I try to find items that have these kinds of options in them because it just looks nice and professional. And I'm going to show you how to change the pricing too. And it also shows you the shipping costs. You click on that first icon. And this is me as if I was shopping. That's from a shopper's uh, point of view. And since last July, I stopped for a couple of months because I was moving. I didn't, I stopped in January and February. I didn't really have any sales because I stopped. I tried, had turned it off since, um, since I was moving. But anyway, so far since last June, I'm sorry, July 14th, I've had 385 sales. <laughs> the 4.0 is because this lady gave me, uh, three stars. This lady here, the second one, I, asked, I, asked, I offered her a refund, but she gave me three stars because the mask was too snug. And I sent her a message and I, would, I, I, I asked her if she wanted a refund um, because I wanted, I, you know, I work hard for five stars, but she ended up changing it because of that to four stars. Um, I'm not sure why it hasn't updated. It should still be at five stars, I believe. But anyway, you can't please everybody. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to hit the back button twice on my phone. You can see I'm recording the screen. Um, so what I'm going to show you is what I've been, what I, the, this is all stuff that I've made up. This is another know your worth leggings. I don't really like the t-shirts, um, images It's best to use something with a background like this 22 ounce vacuum insulated bottle here i added faith over fear and i really wasn't supposed to do that because it'll tell you i'm going to click on edit listing actually i'm not going to worry about it so this is just some of the things that i created this one i came up with this one yesterday as well grandma's got my back forever bet this one comes with uh, a couple extra images Here, I want to show you this one. This one says, uh, I'm going to edit. It'll tell you. Let's see, as product title. Let's see. Yeah, see, I had added uh, the three scriptures, John, Matthew, what was on there, which I like to do. But here it's saying, as product title is part of the product URL on Etsy, changing it may affect your CEO performance. And it tells me that because I added... I added, uh, just say the word, three, three scriptures. I could delete it all, but I think what I'll do, I'm highlighting and I'm going to cut it. Oh crap. That's okay. Just so you get an idea, I'm going to, I'm going to go to description.
going to paste it here. And I'm going to add Jeremiah. The reason I couldn't use the dash or the semicolon or the colon was because it wouldn't let me on when I was doing the description. Enter. Okay, three scriptures. Or three scripture. Let's see. Through scripture. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if it removes this as product lot title is part of the product URL. I'm going to see blah, blah, blah. I hate that it says just a lemon ounce mug for the title. But let's go ahead and save it. I have to go back to click on uh, all this and you can change your, your profit margin and you can change your pricing and I just click publish product on your Etsy store that way I can make changes on my on the Etsy side if I need to I don't touch anything else sometimes this is highlighted but I uncheck it because I because I'm not the shipper so I'm not going to worry about that I'm going to click this little bot drop down. I'm going to hit publish. You can always go back and make changes if you need to. So now you see the header says 11 ounce mug. I'm going to click on edit again to see if it has that little blue window again, or that blue box. And it does take a little bit for it to upload. And I'm going to be jumping back and forth, but you can always rewind this video if you need to. I'm trying hard not to make it too, too long, and I don't want to edit too much. But unfortunately, we got to wait on this. And it tells you you can pick uh, who you want your drop shipper to be. And if you, when you, like if you're making a t shirt or designing on a t shirt, you can pick all your colors, you can pick, change all your pricing. And if you pick like, 10 colors and you're going to have to change all the prices on all 10 uh, all 10 of them and you can make them all the same percentage for as far as uh, like profit but it's going to make all your prices match from small all the way to 3x and you don't want that because you know the bigger the size the better but if your margin looks good it's up to you how you want to do it how you want to handle it so it updated so i'm going to click on edit listing again this part okay All right description it says the same thing i guess i could have left it on there which is what i want to do oops So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of it. I just don't feel like the word. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to put that back where it was. See, here it tells you you can't use those colons, which is why I had to use the spacing. You can put it on there once. You can't want to allow you to duplicate it. So I have to go back to select all. Right now I have it at 65%, $20. What is this, a mug? Let me change that to $19.99. Edit the price. Yeah, I'm gonna make it $19.99, whoops. Well, that would be nice if I could sell it for that amount. Apply. It's a 65% right now. Don't forget publish to Etsy store. Well, that looks good. This is what I created yesterday. 
um, on Canva. And I want it to be this image right here, the one that has the, has the green dot. And it shows you a preview before, before you, sit, before you uh, upload it. That's the one I chose. I see it here it gives you an option to find more mockups on place it, but don't forget that they're gonna charge you or you, you can uh you have to pay for it. So I'm gonna come back down here and I'm gonna publish it. And again you have to wait. I don't like that the, the colons are not there, semicolon, whatever it is. So we'll wait on that. I'm going to show you again. I know I'm going to go back and forth, but I just kind of want you to see everything. Okay, so I'm going to scroll to the top and see where it says on the left. It says get samples. You can get a sample of your own stuff, but you do have to pay for it. You don't have to pay full price, but you also have to pay for shipping. And that's if you want to test your, you know, your, your image quality or even the garment quality or product quality. Yeah, I recommend that you uh, look at my Etsy shop so you see what, uh, I mean, I created all this. Okay, see here, you will get notifications. Some variants are out of stock. Consider updating this product. And they're talking about this unisex shirt. So just click on it. And they're telling me that they're all of extra large out and that the team purple extra large is out. So what I do is I just remove it. And that's it. And this is all stuff I created. I know you can't see what's on that pillow, but of course I'm just looking at it on this phone myself on screen. So yesterday and the day before in two days I created two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eight, eleven. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty about twenty-seven items. Yeah, there it is. Published twenty-seven. Duh. <laughs> On the right, it'll tell you how many you published. So it's a fun little app, a fun, fun little tool. So let me, let me go ahead and get started. So add product to the, on the right. Click on add product. And sorry, I'm going back and forth, but I just want you to see everything that uh that you that you can uh, that you'll how or how it looks once you've published or uploaded or posted. So you have different options. And it tells you what's new. You've seen me design on this. I haven't done that. You've seen me design on this. That's going to be next the mug. And just scroll. You see men's clothes, clothing, women's clothing, kids. I said, are you seeing me design on a cell phone? You see me design on leggings. You see me design on socks. I haven't printed on a zip hoodie. You can scroll or you can go to, you can also see the providers, but you'll see that in a second when I upload. You can also go to, <clears throat> excuse me, best explore collection. These are best sellers. I've done some hoodies, I think a couple or maybe a few. I've done a pillow, a uh, black shirt. I did a bag with the, John, John, with the three scriptures. I did that. Here they also have stickers. On caps, you have to have, uh, it's embroidery. So let's say I wanted to do that. It'll tell you that you have to, what your image size, what needs to be. So let's say start design. It need, it'll tell you. Let's see, I'm going to click on add. And here it'll tell you what your image size needs to be. 1200 by two, uh, 720. And I don't have anything that's for embroidery. And at the bottom it tells you what type of file it needs to be and the maximum size. You can also use shutter stock, but 
Of course, that's not going to be free. It's 99 cents per image. I don't remember if I used it or not. Um, you can upload stuff your stuff from your device. But this is important, this information, 1200 by 720. That's what you're going to need. If you're, just, if you're going to use the, uh, Canva, you can do custom. Uh, click on custom. Or you have to start off on create design or start creating or something like that. And then you have to use custom size. You have options on t-shirt and other cards, uh, whatever. They have so many options. Click on custom. I think it's custom something. And you, you type in 1200 by 720. And then whatever you create and save from there, then you can save it to your phone or download it to your phone. And then here's where you're going to do uh, your uploads from your My Device or Dropbox, if that's where you choose to put it. That's when you, that's how you uh, upload. So I can't do anything from it because I don't have I haven't created anything with 1200 by 200 pixels. So I'm going to exit out of that. And if you click on preview, even though I don't have anything on there, you have an idea as to what it'll look like. And you have the different options. So you can, I, I can set this person as my primary picture. <laughs> no thanks. And I would probably use this guy because it's best to use pictures. I mean, it's good to have nice blank background, clear background. Uh, anyway, but I prefer. I prefer something with a picture, somebody actually using the, you know, your your so-called product, even though you're actually just drawing it up or creating. But anyway, in this image, in this picture, you would see the what you designed. You would literally see it on there. So let's go back. I'm going to go back again. So let's pick on something that I haven't done yet. I did socks. I'm going to show you how I did my snake design on the socks. I'm going to show you that. I think that'll be a good example. So I clicked on socks, sublimation socks, and then uh, there's only one. Normally you'll have a bunch of uh, listings as far as uh, providers. And here there's only one. So, And they also show you the ratings, 9.8. And it tells you that it's fulfilled in the U.S. So let's start designing. It's really not that hard. So I'm going to click on add your design. And you can go to your device and pick the pictures that you want. But since I already did it, it's in my library. To the On the top right tab, click on that. And snakeskin. And then you can go to options and to the right of snakeskin JPEG. See, it says, it's, see how also another thing it says medium resolution. If you go back on top, if you make it smaller, options, it's still medium resolution, which I'm going to take a chance on it. And I just click that little double paper. See, it's highlighted. That just means duplicate. So go back. This file looks different from before. All I'm doing is using my, is using my finger to uh, to move it and go back to option, duplicate it, and go back and just move it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to click on preview. And that's what it looks like. Go back to edit. See, so that's only the front left leg. Now you click on front right leg. You can do the same thing. Add your design. Go to library. Click on snake skin. I want to move it up. Click on options. Duplicate twice because I know I needed three. So go back. Now you can click on it and move them. Let 
And then this one looks different than before. I'm not sure why. Add design, library. <sighs> Duplicate. Go lay down. Sorry, I'm talking to my dog. She just stares. <sighs> Doing the same thing. Duplicate. I think that's it. So now you can click on preview. You can see all. You can see the left, the right. Hit it again. And on the bottom, you'll see save product. So click on that. And then from here, you want to click edit again, edit listing, because now it'll tell you this product contains average resolution layers. So average, I'm okay with. I'm willing to test average. And then here you want to select the image view, which I'm going to pick that one. And then here you have your description. Here what I like to do is see how it's all bunched up. I don't like that. So I click there, enter. Enter to make it look more professional. For pricing, click on all. And this one, there's really not that many selections, but just click on that. And the, the price of the socks is $12.73 at 40% margin. I want to sell these socks for $17. So you just click on the edit variant, the little drop down on the green. Edit price, go back, type in 17, apply. And the cost to, to make the socks is 746 from this vendor. You're selling it for 17, your profit is 954, and that's 50% margin. Publish product on your Etsy store, click on that. Keep everything else checked and uncheck this one. Select an existing shipping profile or create a new one. I don't want to because I'm using Printify. So I'm going to uncheck that. And on the bottoms, there's another drop down. Click on publish. And it's uploading. And what you do want to do on Etsy, and I'll show you in a minute, is you want to tag words. Always use tags like you do on uh, Instagram or anywhere else because those are your search uh, words. So what I'm gonna, we're going to see in the store, this is what it looks like on, on Etsy. The same four images. These could, I could probably sell for more, but I'm not, I'm not going to go there here. It tells you how much shipping is, 450 And these are my previous sales. So now what I want to do is I want to um, do my tag. So on the top, if you don't have an Etsy store, I just want to show you on top, that little store in the middle. I'm going to click on my listings. So here are the socks, and this is everything else that I posted yesterday in the past two days. This is stuff that I actually made up, like this Know Your Worth I did on Canva. This little infant baby rib bodysuit, I just typed up some different fonts and put it together. This water bottle. I uh, went on Canva and found uh, this... Uh, what was it this image that I liked? So I just added to it. Oh, so back to the socks. So now you can add your tags, sublimation socks. Uh, now you can add your whatever it is that you wanted to add to it. Snake skin. I don't know if it's going to affect the. It doesn't matter. About the listing. It says that I did it. I'm not going to mess with that. They're made to order. It's listed under socks and hosiery automatically. All this stuff that says optional, don't worry about that. Unless you really want to worry about it. 
I want this to automatically charge me July 19th. It's a physical product. Everything transferred over. And I just put product partners. I added that on there. You can't, you don't need to, but it helps because it'll let people know that you're not really the one that's making it. Now, here's your tags. It is optional, but I recommend you use these socks. Add. Whoops. Sublimation. And these are just what people uh, are certain words that are keywords that people are searching for. I don't know why people would search for snake, but hey, people like snakes. Snake skin. Just do as many tags as you want. You got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tags. The material, if you're not sure, just go back to the description. It's polyester spandex. So people who are tagging, looking for a certain type of material, you can type in... Uh, Polyester, spandex, oops, damn, can't spell spandex, and then you can change the price here if you want to, everything else is pretty much left alone because again it was transferred over from uh, Printify sorry my screen's in the way and then you just publish it here's giving you the total with the shipping so just publish you don't have to do anything on the Etsy side but I recommend you do the tags strongly recommend that because that's those are keywords that people are doing doing those searches on on SEO um, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you. That's what I've decided to do since I'm going back to work full time. I miss my checks, my big checks, and I miss, I just, I need my insurance to take care of my ticker. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Until next time.